Hello everybody, welcome to the Boxing Science YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel and you like boxing training and strength and conditioning for boxing, you should hit the subscribe button. And then if you like core training for boxing like this video, please hit the like button. In this video, we're gonna be sharing the top 30 core exercises for boxing. But before we go on to that, I just wanna give a big shout out to our partners, Saga Fitness. Saga Fitness are specialists in blood flow restriction training and their upper and lower body cuffs are fantastic if you're um, recovering from an injury or looking for quick gains in strength and hypertrophy. The upper and lower body limbs are available on the Saga Fitness website and you can get 10% discount by using the Boxing Science discount code. Please visit in the link in the description for more. So in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you the top 30 core exercises for boxing. Now, core training has been highly popular in the boxing community for many, many years. So you've seen Mohamed Ali, Mike Tyson doing thousands of sit-ups, but there's more to core training than just doing sit-ups. And we're gonna be explaining the reasons why. The main reason why we use core training at Boxing Science is because in our testing, we've uh, looked at body composition and muscle mass and where that muscle mass is distributed around the body. And what we found was that trunk mass and core muscle mass has the biggest transfer into punching power. So we have a huge focus on improving core strength. And there are a few different reasons why the core mass is so important. First of all, rotational power. The amount of torque and speed that you can rotate your trunk will help transfer into faster hand speed. Also, being able to link the kinetic chain. So kinetic chain sequencing is really important for transferring force from the lower body through to the upper body and the core is highly important in being able to transfer that force. And then the last one is being able to snap upon impact of the punch. You need your core to be nice and strong to get your body weight behind the punch, to deal with them impact forces, to be able to get better snap on the punch. And a few different reasons why we use it in a generic sense is to try and improve our performance on the key compound lifts. So trap bar jumps, trap bar deadlifts, uh, squats, upper body pressing. The core is really important to get strong at these key exercises. And also being able to reduce the likelihood of injury. There's a lot of research out there showing that core strength and core strength endurance is really important uh, in helping reduce the likelihood of injury. So in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you our top 30 core exercises. These will target strength, strength capacity slash endurance, and core stability. We use these exercises as part of our strength and conditioning workout. We integrate three to five different exercises and we target them for eight to 12 repetitions times three to four sets. For endurance holds, or if you're performing a circuit, sometimes we do this for duration. So we'll perform each exercise for anywhere between 30 and 45 seconds. Like I said, we will use three to five exercises per workout or we can extend that to four to six exercises and use it as a standalone core circuit, uh, something to add on to the end of your boxing training. How we structure our core training is using the four pillars using the 21st century core concept. This was by Mike Robertson um, and this was introduced about early 2000s and we've used this for our entirety uh, of uh, delivering strength and conditioning workouts to boxers. We use uh, these four pillars. First one is anti-rotation, so resisting rotation of the spine. This is important to be able to create rotational stability and to develop obliques that can transfer into rotational power. We've got anti-extension. This will get the core nice and strong as we resist extension of the spine, and this can help reduce lower back injuries. We've got hip flexion with neutral spine. This is great for postural stability as we're challenging posture whilst our hips in a flex position. And then we've got anti-lateral flexion. This is again good for protecting the lower back as we're resisting any side bending. And also this can transfer into combination punching or, or coming back from defensive movements. So they're the four pillars. This is the target strength and strength endurance and stability. And then how to perform, pick out three to five exercises across the 30 core exercises to put into your strength and conditioning workouts. And what I suggest is that you choose at least one out of the four pillars so you get a good balance from your core training.
Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that video. You've got a huge collection of core exercises to go with. Like I said at the start, if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel yet, we've got a huge range of content for boxing training and strength conditioning, uh, from footwork drills to more core training exercises to full strength and conditioning workouts. So please hit the subscribe button. And if you're wanting to find out more about boxing science, please visit the link in the description to visit our website, boxingscience.co.uk, where we've got a huge range of online products and online memberships. So you can take the boxing science training methods into your training and help get you fitter and faster and stronger. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.